All right. Well, we got my charging issue figured out. I had to get a different pigtail. Big shout out to Nova Two Nut, man. Thank you a lot for your help. Your uh, wiring schematics, you, you kind of, you know, walked me through there. Uh, we got this figured out. So I went and got a different plug. This is the one I was running, which is obviously the wrong plug. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on that. See how it has the, the letters? Well, the S, I believe, stands for the signal. The L stands for the light. And I don't remember what the other ones. Uh, the F is... Fuck, I can't remember what they stand for. Basically, this alternator needs the signal wire, and the F is the ignition. The L is just the light. And P, I don't remember what... I think F was the ECM. Either the P or the F is for an ECM. Anyway... So, what this one needed was, get back to focus on here, I needed this kind of pigtail that had the power for the alternator, so now it comes to the pigtail, tells the alternator it needs to work, and then I have a 12 volt hooked up here. This is all just temporary, I just, just stuck it on here to make sure it works. Uh, so we got all that going now. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I still need to run uh, a resistor in this because a lot of forums and a lot of people say you need to run a resistor but I don't know since I found one schematic that said if you're if you use the light everything I've read said that the light one which is this wire this goes to your uh, idiot light or you know the light uh, light on the dash uh, it says you need to run a resistor in that but I never found anything that said if you run this one which on one schematic I found said, if you use this wire, the keyed ignition, you don't have this wire used. But if you have this wire, you don't use this wire. So I'm using this wire and this wire. And as you saw, it's pumping out 14 volts now. Uh, same at the battery, so it's charging my battery now. So everything's figured out. Uh, I just need to figure out if I need to run a resistor. So I uh, just figured I'd update y'all on that. Uh, not a lot left here. I've kind of been messing with it the last few days. I think my timing might be off. I think my distributor might be off a tooth. I'm not sure because I'm, I, I don't know. It's, the C85 stuff is crazy. It's, we have the timing higher than you should on a small block just because, you know, basically on, when you're timing an engine, an old way people do it would, they would turn it until you had, you know, detonation or pinging. And then you'd turn it back the other way until you ping and you just found a safe spot. 12 degrees on a small block Chevy is standard basically. We have it about 13 and she kind of likes it, but I'm still having a little bit of issues with it. I need to get this carburetor. Now that I have my charging issue figured out, I'm gonna start messing with the tuning. I didn't want to mess with the tuning while obviously your your MSD needs to have full power. So if I'm not, I wasn't even, above, I wasn't even at 12 volts before. The only way I was at 12 volts is if I had a charger hooked up to it or even jumped jumped by another vehicle. So now that it has over 12 volts, I can start tuning this bitch because now the ignition has full power. So that's the plan now. Now that I got this figured out, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this figured. I'm gonna get this uh, finalized. Uh, like I said, find out if I need a resistor, find out if this is right, and then we're gonna we're gonna permanent this up. We're gonna run a nice little loom over all this stuff, clean it up real nice. You won't even you probably won't even notice it's there when I'm done with it. So. And that is the damn plan right there. That's the plan. So, all right, y'all. I'll keep you informed on some more updates. Probably just be some tuning going on this weekend. Uh, body work's next. Body work is next. Now that we got this pig running. So, all right, y'all. Later. All right, guys. Well, she made her maiden voyage. I just drove it around the block. Had to strap on the old fender supports to keep this radiator support from bouncing around but she made it like a champ pulled right back in the garage and have no issues i got her tuned pretty good now i can't get much vacuum out of it it might be the cam i can only get about 11 pounds out of it and that's that's it uh i don't know so uh yeah she's running really good now though got about 11 pounds of vacuum like i said uh She's running good. I uh, put new plugs in it. 
fucking did a couple other things. I rejetted it. I took the jets down two sizes on each each end and retuned the carb. Uh, seems to be doing great. I gotta. I'm gonna let it cool off for a little while and then check a plug and see if she's still running rich. But uh, I had it running outside for about 10, 15 minutes, and compared to the other day, the gas just went down. But I had her sitting outside for about 10, 15 minutes tuning it. And she barely used anything, so uh, them jets must have been made a difference. Uh, I did uh, up the up the pressure a little bit. Uh, I talked to shout out to Nova Two Nut here. Uh, he helped me out a lot, talking to me about tuning the C85 shit. And so I upped it. I took it up to seven and a half, but it really seemed to flood out the the bowl. So I took it back down to seven. I don't know if I said that, seven and a half, and then I went back down to seven. Uh, it seems to sit just fine right about there. I got just a dribble out of the sight holes. I know you told me to make sure them floats, you know, flow out just a little bit. So they just dribble out a little bit out of them sight holes, so I left them alone. Um, retuned the carb, like I said. Uh, I figured out my charging issue. I don't know if I touched on this. Uh, once again, shout out to Nova Tuna, man. Thank you very much for all your help, dude. Uh, so I went and got a new plug. Uh, this is the plug I needed. I needed a, a signal wire. So this goes right to the, the charge wire on the alternator. Uh, and then I, this is just temporary. I just wanted to make sure it was working. So then I ran a 12 volt source from a fused hookup. I'm feeling these and they're really hot. Maybe I do need a resistor in there. Uh, fused hookup, everything works now. Getting about 14 volts through it. Uh, out of the, out of the, in the charging system now, a little over 14. So, bingo, you know, great, great charge, charging now. Uh, everything's doing fine. Uh, this thing runs cold though, man. I, I knew the Z85 would run cold, but man, it won't even, the temp gauge don't even show anything over one one forty five, even after idling and I drove it around the block and came back home, pulled in the garage it was still sitting about one forty five. So I don't know I might need to get a uh, lower thermostat. I think I threw a one eighty five in it. I don't remember, but I might need to get a lower thermostat to get the coolant flowing a little faster or something. I don't know. I don't know what I should do with that, but it's doing great now. It's a hot motherfucker today. It's about 100 degrees out. But, you know, when you're determined to do something, fuck the weather. Y'all know that. So, anyway, getting this shit done. Bitch is running good. I think I'm about to call it quits on the uh, motor shit right now. I'm about to finish. I'm going to probably going to go get a resistor for this alternator and then figure that out uh if anybody is curious what i'm talking about uh sometimes when you run these alternators like this the serpentine setup this is what they call a cs130 alternator um sometimes you have to run a resistor in here because it doesn't need uh from what i understand if you sometimes if you don't it can actually overheat the uh regulator so honestly this is telling me i need to run one because my 12 volt wire is cool and the wire it's hooked to is it's kind of hot and this fucking alternator is hotter than shit dude. so i might need to run a resistor on that fucker uh i think what i saw information wise was like a 500 ohm one watt resistor so we'll see how that works so i'll go try to find one of them sometime uh other than that all gravy all right quick update to drop at the end of that last video I uh, went ahead and grabbed a resistor. I wired it in right there. Focus, focus. You see it in the middle right there. I just uh, twisted the wires around each end and soldered it and then heat, heat shrinked it. I'm gonna go ahead and wire, uh, cover this all up. But this is what I ran, a 470 half watt. Everywhere I read said you need about I think they said you need a 460, what I read. And I wired it in, got it working. 
Nova Tuna, and I know you told me I probably wouldn't need one, but man, this, I don't know, man, this thing is getting really hot. Like, I understand the motor is running, but man, this, the alternator itself, like, I touched the rest of the serpentine system and nothing was as hot as this thing was. I mean, I could barely touch this thing. And this wire, this wire was getting hot. I think I said that in the last video, but, so I went ahead and wired this resistor in and uh, it works just fine now. And, uh, still charging at 14 volts. So, uh, what's, I mean, we'll see, well, only time will tell, but honestly, you know, what's, what's the worst that could happen, I guess, but only time will tell. All right, y'all.